welcome to part two of this tutorial how to turn a simple ceiling design into a production drawing. In part two we're going to look at the components of the brief for a simple ceiling design and end up with that with a design based on the brief. Now you'll remember from part one that this is the room we're going to use for our art exercise. It's an upper floor gallery in the David Sverner Gallery in New York. So the task that we've set ourselves is to adapt the ceiling to accommodate a new colour modifying reflective ceiling tile. Uh, this is just an invented scenario. Um, we're anticipating that this tile has this magic property of transforming the, the coloration of both nat natural and artificial light. But anyway, it's just, it's just pretend and uh, in order for this thing to work it has to occupy 50% of the ceiling area and the tiles are 600 by 1200 millimeters each. Uh, so that's sort of setting up the basics of the brief. Uh, also to, it's required to add two artificial roof lights. Uh, this is a proprietary, sort of very recently um, invented product by a company called Seolux. And we're gonna make our roof lights for this exercise as 1.2 uh, by 1.8 meters. And the design is to include ceiling track uh, similar to the existing, just to remind you, uh, here we have the existing ceiling track. So that's enough of the introduction. We'll now look at the simple design that we came up with. It's that configuration, that little brief that we, we set ourselves uh, could be answered in many different ways. In this design we've shown it um, with two, banked, uh, two banks of tiles, one here, well the cursor is very slow, and um, one at the bottom here. Each bank is three tiles wide and ten tiles long, and together they add up to just under 50% of the ceiling area and these here are the two Seolux artificial uh, roof lights and here the, the lighting track. So at the moment this exists as a simple line drawing and I've done it in AutoCAD, could be in any CAD program. I'm going to be using AutoCAD and explaining some of the basic principles surrounding the act of creating a or the process of creating a, a technical drawing and even though the uh, the methods are particular to AutoCAD they will every single CAD program will have its own way of doing it which um, should be um, easy to to replicate 